Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to the daily tip from Passionate World Talk Radio Network. Empower your voice, unlocking your podcasting potential. Educate, enlighten, entertain. Today's daily tip is a pretty simple one and it is most often overlooked because it is so easy peasy as someone once said. But I do get this question a lot from the audience who listens to this program. And so I thought I would go over it briefly. Now, I know you're all sitting on the edge of your chair trying to figure out what she talking about. What I'm talking about is your content. You've probably heard me say many times that content is king. Just like if you were going to open up a candy shop, your realtor would say, location, location, location. Well, for a podcast host, it's content, content, content. And we've already discussed how you get this content, but we really haven't discussed a lot in detail. And of course, if you take my training course for podcasting, you will get a lot of practice at doing this because I'm a firm believer that you have to do it before you actually learn it and assimilate it so you can have it for when you need it. However, I digress. So how do you put this content together? But most importantly is how do you attract your potentially listening audience who has the option of staying for maybe a mere two or three nanoseconds and then wander off to find something a little bit more interesting? And that's a good question because sometimes you can have the best, terrific, awesome content in the world and still your listeners don't stick around to the bitter end. That's why when you sign up to go to a lot of the workshops and the webinars they put into the enticing verbiage Well, if you stick it out to the end, you'll receive your prize or your reward or you'll get a discount. And that's how they entice you to stick around. But there's another way of doing it without bribing your potential audience to stick around. And that's the delivery of your content. Now, yes, a lot has to do with your voice and the tone of the voice. Let me give you an example. It's from the book, Gold Nuggets. I've been talking about that. And just to give you an idea. So we'll start out with how to put together your content. Like I said two days ago, there are different ways, preferred methods for doing it. But basically, it's the intro, body, and ending. And you're going to use that in any and all walks of your professional life, anywhere from sitting in front of someone who's interviewing you to the blue book specials of colleges and universities to answering to your parents why you just walked in five minutes after three o'clock in the morning when you should have been home by 11. All right. So this is a regular nonfiction instruction manual, right? And you're presenting it to your potential audience. When doing your research, always make sure you take notes. Well, that's pretty common. Do you think somebody's going to listen to it? Well, it depends how you want to hook your reader. You could say, when doing your research, always make sure you take notes. That's a voice of authority. You're telling them and advising them at the same time that it makes sense to take notes. And maybe it won't keep them glued to your video or listening to your audio, but at least they won't be asleep. They'll be awake and maybe eagerly anticipating what else you're going to say. And that's what you want. That's how you hook your audience. You want them to identify with you and brand with you and say, that lady, that guy, they know what they are talking about and they're trying to help me become successful. And what a great feeling that is. You certainly don't want to put your audience asleep. 
And I've seen people drone on through a book, reading passages from their nonfiction book, excuse me, to help sell their book. Pretty simple. Here's an example of a podcast structure. Introduction. Compared to what I said 20 seconds ago, I'm already asleep. You have to let the audience know that you are enthusiastic and you want to help them get from A to B to B to C and to avoid the mistakes that you potentially or possibly made. They're going to make their own mistakes. Becoming a podcast host is always full of a trench and the road is full with hidden mines and you never know when you're going to set something off. But at least understand and take notes from the person who's written a book about it that they've already been there and it's their job to make sure that you don't make the same mistakes that they did. Or also talking to people who tell you, I've invested thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars in courses and the investment wasn't worth the monies that I paid. That sends a cold shiver right down the middle of my back. So always, ladies and gentlemen, if you're going to become a professional podcaster, always do your homework first, do your research. And then when you practice doing your presentation, make sure that your voice tone conveys to the audience your excitement, not your disattachment, but your willingness to take giant strides and share your information with them so they can get to the promised land. Thank you very much for listening to Passion and World Talk Radio Network. Empower your voice, unlocking your podcasting potential with your host, Lillian Caldwell. And you can see this video or hear the MP3 all over again at youtube.com forward slash Passionate World Radio, PW Talk Radio, on facebook.com forward slash Passionate World Radio, on educate.passionateworldtalkradio.com forward slash masterclass, and on passionateworldtalkradio.com forward slash blog, and all of our other social media platforms. And coming up on April 19th, Vicki E. Chang, who masterminded the series of the Golden Nuggets book with businesses, how-tos. And she wrote a book, Digital Strategies for Digital World. And I'm the co-host, Lillian S. Caldwell. Go over to Amazon, Google Vicki, V-I-K-I, Esther Chang. And Golden Nuggets, Digital Strategies for a Digital World will appear. Go over and buy the book. A workbook accompanies it. And like I said previously, if you want to delve into the world of podcasting, then sign up for my Empower Your Voice, Unlocking the Podcasting Potential. What's different about my course is that it's interactive. You get your hands dirty, ladies and gentlemen. And also the opportunity to appear on a well-known, well-established internet talk radio station operated and created by women. So come on board. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Enjoy what's there of the sun. Don't forget about the total eclipse on Monday. And we'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye.